in this section of the lecture on uh, LiDAR and UAS data fusion, we will actually look at how, this, uh, how these different techniques uh, for <clears throat> updating LiDAR-based DEM with UAS-based DEM work. So the first uh, simplest approach is just patching the larger uh, LiDAR DEM with UAS uh, DEM, uh, either using the, the specific uh, patching tool or using uh, just map algebra. And you can see in these two examples that if we just do this very simple patching or even if we just do simple uh, average along some overlap, uh, we are creating an edge along that uh, along the patch and it's even visible here when you zoom in and use uh, 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 re relief shading you can see these edges quite clearly this can be post-processed but of course that's a lot of extra work uh, here it is even better highlighted you can also see the difference between the level of detail in the lidar data and in the UAS data. So it is clear that when you are <coughs> uh, fusing these two data sets that you are trying to preserve as much of detail in the UAS data as you can. So how can we create a, uh, a fusion of these two data sets without the edge? So we can employ smooth fusion and the smooth fusion uh, uh, uses weighted smoothing which is based on the distance from the edge. Here we just averaged uh, uh, data in this, uh, in this overlap uh, with the same weight. Uh, when we use this uh, weighted smoothing the, the, uh, the patching, essentially the edge between those two digital elevation models become so smooth that it is uh, practically invisible and you can see it particularly here in the bare ground area. So here is the mathematical formulation of this fusion method. Uh, so you have a, a UAS based, in our case, this would be the UAS based uh, digital elevation model. This would be the LiDAR based digital elevation model that we are trying to update with this new UAS based data. And then we define an overlap area uh, with the width S. And uh, within this area, we average the elevation between A and B with smoothly changing weight. And the, the formulation then will look like this. And what is important to notice here is that the weight for A uh, is essentially uh, used also in the weight of B as one minus weight. So essentially the sum of those weights is always one. So what you get is that as you in the uh, uh, in the the B is here the LiDAR DEM, A is here the UAS based uh, DEM and in this overlap area uh, where you are, uh, where you, you start with the LiDAR based DEM and as you are getting closer to the UAS DEM, the weight is changing in such a way that at this edge the weight of the LiDAR data is 1 and at this edge, edge the weight of the UAS data is 1 and everywhere in between it changes from 0 to 1. So, uh, so you can see that there is somewhere in the middle uh, a point where they would be weighted equally. And the distance, the, the weight is then dependent on the distance within this, uh, within this uh, uh, overlap and the actual width of the overlap. And in this image, you can see the influence of this overlap width on the smoothness of that connection. 
So if the overlap width is zero, you will get the sharp edge as we had in the, uh, in the uh, basic patching case. If the overlap is five meters, uh, the, you can still see the edge a little bit, but, uh, but the connection or the transition is much smoother and with 20 meters you get a very smooth transition but you also start losing some detail uh, in the uh, UAS based digital surface model, digital elevation model. So now, uh, now this also indicates that uh, uh, the, the width of, the, uh, of this overlap matters and if we are trying to preserve as much detail as possible in each of the digital elevation models, we want to adjust that width based on the difference in elevation. So if we take into account the spatially variable differences in the, uh, in the elevation uh, between the two digital elevation models, then what we want to do is uh, we can then define a function uh, based on the, this difference that will actually define the width of our overlap. And this is done, uh, as you will see when you will be doing it uh, in the assignment, by defining a transition angle. So we can essentially define how steeply we want uh, 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 the transition to go between these two digital elevation models. And based on this angle, we can then define, the, we can preserve this angle uh, and, uh, and derive the width of the, of the transition uh, uh, overlap. And we will get, and this way we will get more gradual transition where the differences are high and we preserve subtle features of both DEMs. So let's look at some example to better understand what is going on. So when we do absolute elevation differences between the, the DEMs that we want to patch, which is shown in this red area. So this red area is the difference between the, the LiDAR and UAS DEM, which we, which we want to patch together. And uh, as you can see, and as expected, the, the differences are spatially variable. So for example, we have here a location where the difference is almost uh, 30 centimeters, we have here other uh, locations where the difference is very small within uh, less than 10 centimeters, maybe within four, three to four centimeters. And then the width of, of, of the overlap is variable. So we will have larger width of the overlap here where we have greater difference in elevation and we will have a very small overlap and much more data preserved where we have a small difference. So this is how this, how this sequence of patching looks like. Uh, first, we have compared the simple patching uh, of LiDAR-based DEM with the UAS-based DEM uh, and we have shown that there will be an edge and this is an example from your assignment so you should be able to see and identify the edge and then by applying the smooth fusion with a constant overlap of 20 meters we will essentially mitigate these, uh, these edges so, so, the, uh, so the transition essentially is invisible. So we have smoothly, uh, uh, smoothly fused the new uh, UAS data with the existing LiDAR DEM. And then we can use this uh, fusion with spatially variable overlap also for replacing the vegetated areas with bare ground. Uh, so here we, have the, here we have the areas that have the crop on them, which may be about one meter high, and we will, 
uh, we would like to replace it with bare ground. And we already discussed that it is very difficult to get bare ground information from the uh, UAS uh, digital surface model, uh, but we usually have the, the bare ground represented in the LiDAR data. So by uh, using the fusion with spatially variable overlap, we can replace these vegetated areas with bare ground and we will get a smooth bare ground digital elevation model for our entire area, which is updated with the latest UAS data in the bare ground uh, locations. And this is how the spatially variable overlap will look like. So you can see it uh, uh, along the edges of the, of the mapped area. And again, here the difference was small, so we have very narrow overlap. Here the difference was large, so we have much wider overlap. And then we also have the edges and the smooth fusion in those areas where we have replaced the where we have replaced the crop. And with, the, with such smooth fusion, we can now use this uh, uh, fused digital elevation model, uh, which represents the bare ground for modeling of overland flow, which will be explained in our next section.